This is a demonstration of the um, Red Dot 1050A digital swir meter, a meter that has recently shown up on the uh, internet on eBay and various uh, website outlets. And I purchased one of these for my own use and I'm going to just run through how this thing works just for the heck of it in case anybody's interested. Okay, right now I've got it hooked up on this end to a radio, to a transceiver, a VHF transceiver. Onto the, onto the TX side. On the antenna side, I've got obviously a dummy load. And so when I get ready here, I'm going to read into that dummy load. The, the, the meter right now is going through three states. A plus state, a minus state, and an R for, for the SWIR reading. And it'll, it'll cycle through like that. And I also have the option of stopping it by hitting the button one time. It'll stop it on the forward power, the plus reading. I can hit it again and I'll let it cycle here a little bit. When I get to the minus, I can hit it again. It'll stop. I can, I can focus on the minus reading, on the reverse uh, power reading. And I can hit it again and one more time. And I can hold it on the swir reading and I can look at that. Or by releasing it with another push, I can let it cycle through. And I can re read all readings, you know, in a, in a serial fashion, one after the other. Uh, to stop it, I just hit the button. It'll stop wherever it stops. Uh, it's got a light in it. Light off. Hold it down for a second, I believe. Light on. To turn it off, it'll you hold it down for two seconds. And release, and it's gone. Turn it back on, hit the button, and it comes back on. The light is now on. Okay, now I'm going to run some power into this thing. I'm going to lock it down on the forward power right there. I'm, going to, I'm now going to light up a transceiver here, VHF, and there we go. 17.2 watts forward. I release it, stop it. Reverse reading out of a dummy load, nothing. That's That should be correct. It's a good dummy load, so nothing's coming back. And I release it again, stop it, hit it again, and I've got a one, one to one swir, or one to zero swir, a perfect, almost a near perfect swir coming out of that dummy load. Okay, and now we're back again. I've removed the dummy load off this end. I placed it onto an antenna. I've got the the transceiver. Oops, I'm gonna do that. Got the transceiver still hooked onto the to the TX side antenna, hooked onto the antenna side. I've got a, I've got a bencher. Uh, keyer back here. I've got that set there to keep this thing from sliding because this cable is short and I've got the uh, power of uh, the uh, dummy load over here holding it from going the other way. At any rate, irrelevant. Um, this antenna has some problems. I've got some bad connectors on it and I've got some ordered but for right now this is great because I'll, there will, it will sh show swir. So here we go looking at it I'm going to click over to the forward right there. Okay, here's forward power 15.9, 15.8 watts forward. And we'll click over to reverse. And coming back is 1.29 watts. Coming back from the probably from the connectors. And I'm not sure, I'm not really sure if the antenna is pruned correctly, but it's it's a dual banner, it's probably pretty close. I know I know I've got bad connectors. And whoops, we'll now we'll lock it down on the SWIR reading itself, right there. And I've got a SWIR 1.8 to 1 to uh, 1.8 to 1. I guess that's how you say that. So the meter gives you realistic readings. You can tell what's going on, and you can, all, like I said, you can also let it light on. You can also let it go through the readings. Hold it down. There's the SWIR reading. There's the forward power reading. There's the, the reverse power reading. And so, to my way of thinking, it's a really slick little meter. I've only had it for a couple of weeks. It's, it's lasted that long, so that's I guess that says something. And um, it comes in two styles. One that goes from 100 megahertz to uh, 500 megahertz, and the other one goes from, uh, uh, what is it, uh, 1.6 to 60 megahertz. So you would re be required to have two of these to measure from HF up to uh, to uh, 440 or even 450 for that matter. 
So there you have it, the Red Dot 1050A swirl meter and the operation thereof. Here's some comments I left out about this uh, digital swirl meter. Um, first of all, I'll just kind of show you, it's, it's, an, it's got end connectors on both sides, so you either have to be end connected up on your radios, or you have to have an adapter like that. And on the back, it's got some data that looks like that. Actually, it looks like that. Oh, hello. It looks like that. Let's read that for a second. It's good for 120 watts max. It says VHF, UHF, but it is inclusive. Uh, or it is 100 megs to 500 megs uh, nonstop. And there's some Chinese writing there for you folks who read Chinese. What's amazing, kind of amazing about this thing, it's quite heavy. It's made out of solid metal. It feels like, like a, it's like a steel product, and it is very heavy. It's got to weigh, I think it weighs more than a pound, to tell you the truth. If you drop it, it would make, it would make, probably, it wouldn't, I don't think, it wouldn't dent it. It's too hard for it to dent, but it would obviously knock the, this nice uh, speckle or whatever, this uh, paint that they've got on here off. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the meter up close and personal.